so we've got our one table in the center and if I, I can put my cursor in there and hit enter a few times just to make it bigger so you can start seeing what the pages look like. Now, when you're creating these sites, you want to know how to make the border on the outside a different color. Not the border, but the background of the entire page. So to do that, you go to Format, and you go to Page Colors and Background. We want to use Custom Colors. Now here it gives you a preview of what the site looks like. So the normal text, if you just type with your cursor, it's going to be black. If you make a hyperlink, it's going to be blue. And if you are looking at a hyperlink that's already been clicked on, it's going to look purple. And you'll see that the, for the entire page, it's got a white background. Well, let's change that background to a blue background. And we hit OK. And then we hit OK. And we see the whole page background went blue. Now, our table, we didn't specify what color background the table should have. So the table just kind of took the same background that the whole page had. So to select a different color for a table, we're going to have to right click and format the table. Now, we want a white color in our main table because it's easier to read. My original website, the first one I ever made that was successful, I actually made a couple uh, experimental ones uh, before I made the first successful one. The first successful one was a black background website. I didn't have a table, I just had a black background and I had white text. Now, I thought it looked pretty neat, but I kept getting complaints that people had poor eyesight and it was really hard for them to read. So I've investigated the subject and I found that if you're going to be typing text on a page, you want a white background or a very, very light colored background. And then you want to have black text. You can format certain text to be bold, certain text to be blue and red. But for the majority of your text, probably 90% of it, you want to have it just black because the contrast between black and white is the easiest thing for the human eye to read. So for our main table, this is where the words are going to go in our main table. We want to format that so it's white. So let's right click, we go to table cell properties, select table, and here it's background color, but since it's under the table tab, it's the background color for the table. So we want it right here it's saying let page color show through. We don't want that. We want to select a color. Right here you can see that the blue is showing through because that's the page color, but we're making a special table. So here we're going to click here and we're going to select white. We just double click on white. We hit apply and you can see that the table background turns white, but the page still has a blue background. So we hit OK and now we're happy. Now we've created a table with a white background in the center and when you go to sales letter website, you're going to see probably either a banner up top with a graphic or you'll see just a big headline and you'll see a sub headline and you'll start to see it go into the sales letter. And that is what we are working up to creating. Since this video is about tables, I just want to show you a few more things about how tables are used before we get into showing you how to insert images and to do more with text in your web page design. So, a big point that I want to make here is that you can insert tables within tables. So I'll just go down to the middle of this table, I will center my cursor, and I will insert, go to table, insert, table, and let's just make it three rows, two columns. I'm going to pause for a second, think about it, a table with three rows and two columns. Try to picture it in your head. What's it going to look like? You need to be able to do this when you're trying to create a table. If you can and you have an extra second, I will pause for 15 seconds and just try to envision it in your head or jot it down if you can. You know it's going to be a box. You know there's going to be some different cells in there. What's it going to look like? Okay, now we want to make it, th keep thinking about what it's going to look like. If you wrote it down, you'll know in a minute if you were right or not. The width. Well, we made the whole table 600 wide. So from here to here is 600 pixels. But this table is going inside that table. So unless we want our new table to be crammed up edge to edge, 
let's make it 450 so it can be nicely fit inside of uh, the, t the main table that we created. Now, we don't want to do percent of cell. We want to do pixels. So it's 450 pixels. The border is one pixel just to help us uh, see it from a design perspective. And then we can always make that zero pixels later. So let's hit OK. Now, it still put the table on the left-hand side. And just to be safe, I will highlight the table. Oh, I told you it would have three rows and two columns. So if your picture looks like this, you are correct. Here is the first row, the second row, and the third row. And here are the two columns, one, two, one, two. So if you forgot, columns go up and down. And we said there was going to be two columns. Rows go side to side, and there's three of them. So this will save you an extra step of having to recreate a table if you mess up. If you have to get rid of the table, you can just go to table delete and then go to table and that'll delete the table. But I don't want to delete it right now, so I will just avoid that step. So just to be on the safe side, I will select the entire table. I will right click and I want to center this. So I go to table cell properties. I want to do it for the whole table. So I go to table table alignment and I select center. I hit apply and you can see it move this table over. So I hit okay.